All right, we're in the in between now. Um, cursing doesn't matter. Well, Not cursing cur- doesn't matter cursing anymore. Cursing doesn't matter anymore. I know it's an old habit. I, I let Sean enter the uh, thing, and so um, are you happy when stories end, or do you want them to keep going? Watchmen. Watchmen, uh, the, I want it to never go, come back. I want just one so season want, and it'd be over. I'm done with it. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it was yeah, per, it was perfect. Ending. Yeah, it was it was beyond my expectation of what they could it's do with that. My favorite show of last year. Uh, me too. Easy. I just uh, it, again and again when, that one episode of when a god walks into a bar. I watched that three times just to hear everything they were setting up and, and, it's and also paying the, off in the beginning. And you the also end. look at what Damian Lindelof did and lost with the whole time flippy floppy well, thing. He, he was kind of a little shitty with that, but yeah. No, but what I'm saying is how much he's learned since oh, then from that. Yeah. And and I th- I don't I think loss is sometimes unfairly maligned for some of his stuff. I th- they learn so much well, as you, they win. You know now, okay, so obviously I'm going to throw in my favorite, Babylon mm-hmm. 5. Mm-hmm. You know the ending mm-hmm. when you do the beginning. Lost, you know they did not know the ending when they did the they beginning. They did not. Or they but, did not have that ending in mind. Yes. That's yes. Sort of it. But as it became a monster that the TV network said, hey, let's keep going. We're going to do this and this. We, you know, no, you At least they said from, no, at least five years. Yeah, they eventually said that. They, they got them such a, in such a corner. But I, the thing is for me, when you watch The Leftovers that he did and then you watch Watchmen – He's by far my favorite showrunner right now. Right, so Those two me, shows alone are like wow. So I have not watched The Leftovers. Should love I watch it. The, I, I, okay, yeah, so it end because it naturally ends. It's yes. To end. He, so it's based on a book. Is it HBO? It is HBO. Okay. It's based on a book that he loved. He got the writer to work with him, and it does does expand beyond what the book was. Okay. But they worked together, and he he said, "I want you to help me," and they knew where they were going. And I personally think it's ending. As is, is as beautifully satisfying as the ending of Watchmen is. So I right, well then I'm going to watch it. It's so a I, it is a very very softly stated show that it is. It, you know, do you, you know the conceit that well, I think it's three so percent of the population I'm, disappears yeah. all of a sudden? No, I don't know what it's. That's so, what it is, and it's how do you deal with loss? Okay. So I I'm the perfect middle between you. You haven't watched it. You have watched the whole thing. Uh-huh. I watched the first season. Mm-hmm. And got a little frustrated with it. Mm-hmm. Now, I know the conceit of it. The conceit is a, a portion of the population disappears, and the whole thing is they will never tell you why they disappear. That's, That's not, not the point. About. That's not the point of oh, well, well, the story. It's, it's fine. I'm walking dead. I'm used to these shows now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the the reason, the the impetus is not the story. The story That's is fine. what happens I mean, after. Watchmen doesn't start off – I mean – I tell people that want to – if you guys haven't watched The Watchmen, I'm not going to ruin anything for you. Right. But when customers come in and they say, I've heard this show about Watchmen. Should I watch it? Should I see what's going on with it? And I said, yes. But I need to tell you, it starts off with a historical incident. Oh, and, and it again, we talked about that it before. It isn't necessarily about The Watchmen per se. Right. No, yeah. And certainly not in the first few episodes. So don't get frustrated watching and expecting to see Superman and Batman on screen because that's yeah. not right. what the show's about. And if you're willing to have some patience with it – it will it will delve into the stuff that you really want to see at some point, but that that's why when people say everybody's praising the show, I'm like, all right, but I got to pull you back a little bit, right? Because it may not be what you think it is. So I'm fine with shows that don't necessarily give the, me the what conceit they being give me. not the actual purpose if, of the story. If it had been simply how do I take the characters of the original original Alan Moore book and take them to the next step? It or, wouldn't have worked. It would have failed. Yeah. It, but instead, what he wants to do is he wants to tell a story about race relations in our modern era by looking through the lens of this idea. Right. Much like taking what, you know, how the Atomic Age and what the original Watchmen looked at through that kind of thing. And the police state and, and yeah. stuff like that. There are yeah. so many things that, that Watchmen is about that – Probably the populace doesn't even think it's about. I mean, uh, the, yeah, it, the original Watchmen was about people hiding their face to enforce the law, and now we have the law hiding their face right. to enforce the law. So, so, you, so back to your original question: Do I want more of it? Selfishly, yes, because I, if they could keep it going and somehow make a, a story that expands upon it, yeah, fuck yeah, they're killing it. Do I want more of it? No, because that's not going to happen. Because well, eventually, I at think what point HBO's is a story it. in well, your head what, better than the story well, that you well, yes. want to see? This is why I want to see. You know, watch watch the leftovers on some level, right. just because I'm I'm now into Lindelof doing these short, tight things. Yeah, telling me that it was three seasons, it was going to end at three seasons, tells me that I want to watch the show. I don't want to watch Lindelof after having watched Lost mm-hmm. in, a, in an unending thing of they try to spin new stories out of something that is just as no longer they've beaten a dead horse and they don't have a conclusion to it. I would rather watch him do nine episodes, yes. 20 episodes, three seasons, one season, 
three night special miniseries event of three hour, two hour shows. I would rather watch that. We've gotten out of doing these short, tight stories right. that I, I think we, we just need to get, get I'm back grabbing my it. mic so I can always make sure to implement this properly. Babylon 5. It is five great. Five seasons. But I, I think what Lindelof learned from Lost was no. You want me to tell a story? These are the type of stories. And and, and, now, and, quit, he, and uh, now he's showing it with Watchmen. He, the news came out. He basically said, hey, no, no, I'm done. No I'm more. walking that's away. It. If somebody else I've wants to do it, had that's their stuff. Yeah, I've already had this where something I had an idea about, you didn't want me to tell the version of it that really needed to be told. So uh, 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 oh, applause, uh, applause to HBO for honoring that movie. Absolutely. Forward. But when you look at some of the stuff we've done in terms of miniseries and movies, Chernobyl. Mm-hmm. Some media like HBO is willing to take a chance on a miniseries event. I like to think of Watchmen as a nine-night, eight-night mm-hmm. miniseries event. And I'm, and, and I'm waiting for another few months for it to completely leave my mind, and I'm going to go back and watch it Rewatch, again. Yeah. I, I have to because re-see we just, that. I mean, we came, we're coming off of HBO watching Chernobyl, and I knew that wasn't going to have five seasons. Right. That's going to have to end now, just based upon the subject matter. Here's the one thing I want to know about Watchmen, um, the TV show, not the book. You don't know anything about Watchmen. You sit down, you watch that. Are you confused? I or have, can you follow it? One of my customers came in and he said his wife has never read Watchmen and she loves the show. Yeah, that's pretty much back, everything well, I read. Go back and re rewatch it. Because you don't need to. They don't tell you who the characters are. Oh, no. no they no. don't tell you anything about that. But I mean, are you confused about a blue man on Mars that can do anything and then all of a sudden can – you know? Well, is, but, is that confusing to you? Does the, the Rorschach mask well, make I, any sense to you? I think, they, I think they come back and give you a little bit more as the series goes along. For me, initially, I'm like if I were but yeah, watching we have that, the background watching that, that now, I'd probably think, oh, this is kind of uh, David Lynchian kind of yeah. what's this weirdness that's happening Especially around. Mirror Dude. Right. What's this weirdness right. that's going on around <laughs> you? I, I, I like I the think, fact that Jean Smart was always just like uh, looking at him, yeah. doing well, her makeup or whatever, uh-huh. mirror we're guy, in, whatever you are. We're going to, to mirror dude's origin. And then we have more explanation His name is later Looking on. Glass. Come on. Then we have more explanation by Vet later on when they're talking about what happened and what's going on. And, and why he doing. does exactly. that. Yeah. So by the way, the explanation. just because you said this, and I'm so afraid I'm going to forget it, because you mentioned Chernobyl. The, one of the writers of Chernobyl had a podcast with one of the creators, or maybe he was a producer of Chernobyl. It was so well done that HBO came back and said, "Would you do one with Lindelof for oh, Watchmen?" For the, and it's out there. Yeah, they did and it's, three it, episodes, three episodes, the and, they and they cover three, three hours episodes. each. It is like a master class in what he does and how he and he he talks about how the original Watchmen was like his Bible as a kid that, he, you know, he got it issue by issue. And he's like, I read it hundreds of times and I've broken it down. If, if, if you like those type of things, I'm telling you, go listen okay. to this man. It is well worth that investment of three episodes. You've listened to it, too. Oh, yeah. I thought I thought I thought the Chernobyl one was good. I thought the Lindelof one was like, holy shit. I, I am in love with this man. He's he's great. I mean, wait till you read your annotated. Um, I started Watchmen. some of it. And I can't get, get people so to much... leave me alone because I'm sitting there trying to read the annotations. And I'm like, oh, God, this goes down the rabbit Watchmen hole. Watchmen is one of those books that I can. Pull out, read it again, and find new things every time. The first time, and you know, I, this is me being a stupid kid back in the eighties and stuff. The first time that I figured out, oh wait, like all the fire plugs are smiley faces and stuff like that. You just see smiley faces all over it as part of the whole symbolism. Like, ow! Well, as I read the first of it, I realized that I think the only time I've read it was the first time I read it. You know, back in. 90 or something like that so the only thing in my memory were a lot of what Zack snyder did to it which i never i oh I, Zack I never, Snyder, we want to talk okay. about that too i can never i can <laughs> never decide with the watch movie i realize that it, it's not the book but i never can decide if i like it or if i tolerate it i, I don't I do know what to think because it. it's because it's not awful but it's not right if you if you had not read the material you're not familiar with comic books this mm-hmm. is probably a really really good movie the the that movie is it. slavish to the comic book oh you heading out you working out all right well i big. thought that was at four two, two sorry Lift um, big. and for those of us listening things. that's that is our sweet jj our heading out to take care of her life our lovely hostess who always takes care of us the most is yes, very much she, so. she cooked uh, two weeks worth of food and I think we ate one day's worth. So we're horrible people. <laughs> we'll, we'll blame um, it on Richard. It's all Richard's fault. Uh, so, so the watch, <laughs> the, the Watchmen movie, it's in my macros. 
the Watchmen movie is a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, Zack Snyder is It is a, beautiful. The art direction is stupendous. Zack Snyder is a gorgeous director. If you took all his fat uh, slow motion out, all his movies would be about a half hour. And it's almost like he doesn't understand story structure sometimes and pacing for the story. That's what I find. And I, I, I appreciate watching Watchmen, why he felt the need to define the fight that leaves uh, – the, the comedian dead. The comedian, yeah. But that's not in the book that way. And what makes it a stronger thing is it's almost a noir thriller when it's in the comic with Rorschach showing up to talk about it and do it. And I think that Zach, he, he, he takes away all that element, which kills the tone of it. And that, to me, that's where it goes astray. And I'm like, you didn't understand your source material. You could you could find ways to show it, but you don't have to be literal, and that's where the slow motion drives me insane. Is in that first. So you bit. brought up Snyder yes. doing wow. new films. Does he have something else coming out? Is that why you brought that up? No, I. No, I we were just talking about Watchmen. Oh, and, you, yeah, yeah. Uh, you made a question uh, and, being uh, over a moment, like should Snyder have a new? A new and I did film? that earlier. And the, lead a new film. I'm going like, Does he have a new one coming out? I'm going to look that up real quick because uh, I I know after the. I mean, should Joel Schumacher do new films? Well, not superhero films. He, not can super, do, he, he has a couple of films that aren't bad. Like White Elephant and shit like that. The, the did Phone Booth was kind well, of yeah, an interesting phone. thriller. Um, now, the but, reason I asked about Zack Snyder, is there a more problematic dire- director that's out there working right so, now that it seems like okay, every so film he does either keep in mind, barely like, makes money or they have, have to 300 pull 300 is, again, a fast-forward, slow-down movie. 300, Frank Miller, Man, Zack Snyder did out. it. God, goddamn beautiful men in there. Are you kidding me? Out. But like, 300? If, gym, yeah, yeah, if you had slowed that, if you take out all the fast, the slow motion stuff, that movie, again, is probably about half an hour. Yeah. He's um, making a movie for Netflix called Army of the Dead. About? Yeah. We're we're in an era right Following now. Following a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, right, a group of mercenaries go. take the ultimate gamble, venturing into the quarantine zone to pull out the greatest, pull off the greatest so heist ever. So it's, so it's a zombie a heist. heist film. We're yeah. in an era where there is not enough production uh, for the audiences to consume streaming wise. Every actor probably has a job right now. Every mm-hmm. director has a job right now. Every, if you want one, you can probably find one. I, I look at him and, and to so what Sean streaming. and I were saying. I do think. He has an amazing eye. I, oh, he he his can construction. He is a incredible DP. I don't think he's an incredible director. It's almost like he's he is a hybrid art director, director of photography, and I don't. You, it's almost like when you have a sound designer, if you had a picture designer, because you look at the first of when you look at the Batman versus Superman when it shows those flashes to Bruce when it looks boy, like the Dark Knight rises and, and it is like gorgeous that. the way he's constructed. It is pitch perfect visually. He cannot nail what a story needs to move. He, I, 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 I even three hundred I think is sluggish in places because of that problem. Well, that could also be because of Frank Miller too, because of the original story. Um, but then that's your if you're going to interpret it, then it's the director's fault because it's your job to find a way to make that work. So, do you think um, uh, uh, Justice League, directed by Snyder versus um, Wheaton, which one is a better movie? I want to see the Zack Snyder version, the one they always how, talk how about. How different I don't do you know. think it is? Do you think it's darker? Do you darker. Think, you, Unnecessarily you? darker. Oh, Come on, Richard. Sure it's darker, yeah. That's the, the one – I, I don't – they, they, they couldn't even – between the two scenes that were filmed by Whedon versus the ones that were filmed by You can by see Snyder. where the jokey things are can, with yeah. Batman the, falling the lighting, over and going, oh, that's going to no, hurt tomorrow. Every single lighting choice is different. They'd be in the same scene. Yeah, and you could say, okay, this scene was actually shot by Whedon, right. and this so, scene cut next to it with the same characters. So there was, I, I mentioned that earlier in one of the one of the last week, where I joked about you know if these were Wonder Woman's boots, we would have seen her ass right. because of Snyder. I'm pretty sure I need to watch it again, but I'm pretty sure that scene is the juxtaposition of something Whedon shot versus something Snyder shot because the perspective and the point of view keeps changing every single time. She think- we're now seeing characters prominent. Everything at the background is brighter, and it cuts to the reverse. So you of think Wonder Snyder's and, and I think Cyborg or Flash. So Snyder's and darker, and it's upper skirt, and then it goes back to the, like it feels like that one moment was just back and forth between the two. So directors. Snyder's darker and less. I jokey. think. I think it's been a while. Don't, I, I don't know if I can mom. define what he is like that, but you know, um, I, I know this about what he did with that Justice League is that. 
I hope he's okay. Sean walked away. All of a sudden, Richard and I were both like, hmm. Um, okay. So go, cool. Go potty. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I, you can't convince. 